Welcome to the GE Video Academy. This video will demonstrate how to access remote radios for configuration via the web proxy service. For systems with NX or LN radios, the web proxy is an alternative management option for remote radios in the field that uses minimal of the system bandwidth. Open up a web browser and then log into the AP's web interface. Using the navigation bar on the left-hand side of the web page, click on Services, and then click on Remote Management. By default, the web proxy service is enabled and ready to go on both the AP and remote radios. This means, under the Basic Config tab, the service and both the web proxy client and server are enabled. The remote management service is password protected. By default, the password is RMADMIN. For security reasons, the password should be changed on all units. For remote radios already in the field, the best option is to SSH to the remote's console menu. Log in to each remote and enter configuration mode by typing the command configure and then pressing enter. Use the command set services remote dash management shared dash secret and then the password. Enter the command commit to set the change. Do this on all remote radios and then on the access point like shown here on the web UI. Once complete, save the changes on the web UI. The web proxy service can be initiated in two ways. First, under the Actions tab, and then under the Web Proxy Client section. The user can click on the Perform Action button and then enter the IP address of the remote radio to configure. An easier method of doing this is to use the navigation bar on the left-hand side and then click on Interfaces. And then click on either NX Radio or LN Radio, depending on the installed interface. On the Status tab that appears, expand the LN Radio or NX Radio section. Towards the bottom, there will be a section called Connected Remotes. Click on one of the remotes to manage, and then click on the Remote Web Connect button. On the pop-up, click the OK button to start the service. Give the service some time to connect to the remote radio. Once the service is connected, there are items to note. If the web browser has a pop-up blocker, a message may have appeared. Click on the link in the pop-up to open up the remote proxy. Second, only one web proxy session can be opened at a time, and the AP's web session must be signed out of. To log into the remote via the web proxy, the user must log in with the AP's login credentials. That being said, if the AP's username is admin and the password is testuser1, that must be used on the remote's login. The web proxy is an extension of the AP's web interface. Log into the remote. You will notice at the top of the UI says GEMDS Device Manager Remote to signify the remote radio. The web interface for the remote radio via the web proxy is exactly the same as the regular device manager for the remote with full functionality. Please note, like any other over-the-air connection, changing parameters that may cause the radio link to go down can result in the loss of the web proxy service to the remote radio. Once done with the remote radio's configuration, use the logout button at the top of the page. Then, close the tab on the web browser. At this time, the user can log back into the AP to start another web proxy session to a remote or use the AP's web interface for management. 